Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Craft Hoarder here on YouTube, uh, where we discuss all things crafty. The current hyperfixation is diamond painting, so here we are, another unboxing. Um, this painting is quite possibly the largest that I've purchased. Um, <laughs> so I recently had a birthday. Um, and Dreamer Designs um, has a rewards program where they give you a certain percentage back. And I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in any of the unboxings that I've done with them. Um, but it is definitely worth signing up for. Because you get, it's like cash back. And on your birthday, they send you points that you can use towards... Um, a certain amount off of your canvas so I had some gift cards that were given to me um, and then I had enough points that I was able to trade in for a $50 off so I got a $94 diamond painting for $30 for a birthday present so that was super cool um, and that includes the shipping $30 including shipping so it was like twenty dollars before shipping um so that was really that was really exciting for me um it is quite possibly the largest one in that i've ever purchased and i'm not quite sure what i was thinking with this but um i absolutely adore it and it's gonna be it's, gonna, it's just gonna be a long-term project some projects are long-term right so that's just the way it is uh, i have a blanket that i've been crocheting on for like two years because they will, all, you know, let's face it, crocheting blankets can get kind of boring. So it's a long-term project too. So that I think that's what this is probably going to end up being is a long-term project. Anyway, so Dreamer Designs is who put it out. Uh, the packaging is really nice. Dreamer Designs does a unique little thing on their boxes where they have a carrying handle, which makes it kind of nice for just grabbing and going or for like when you're stacking, if you're stacking things on top of each other or in your closet and... You can just grab it by the handle, take it down, and go on your way. Um, so that's kind of fun. Uh, they have a QR code that you can scan for 15% off of your next order. Um, it's got the features there. They have a lifetime warranty of uh-oh insurance, um, which I have had cause to use when my kids dumped all of my diamonds out on a painting that I was working on and I contacted them for the uh, oh insurance explained to them what happened and they sent everything out like the next day it was super quick super easy um very friendly customer service I'm an affiliate for dreamer designs but they haven't actually sent me anything like I don't make anything off of them because I, I don't have that big of a following yet so you know maybe someday but I am an affiliate for them I will post a link down below um, don't feel like you have to use it but if you do it saves you 15% so there's that for you um, it's got everything that's in there rated D for everyone I always get a kick out of the fact that their diamond painting has a video game rating on it um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, the only thing that I can say about their outside packaging is I wish that they had more places that they put the artist artwork because the only place on this entire box that has a picture is on the very bottom and mine don't stack this way mine stack this way or this way or this way or pretty much any other way than this way in my closet um so this particular picture is called uh, coral reef island the artist is will cormier I think that's how you say it. The design size is 120 by 60 centimeters. 47.2 inches by 23.6 inches. Pretty sure this is the largest painting in my stash currently. That might be changing soon, but currently the largest painting in my stash. Sorry, I've got like formula on my sweater from my kid. Um, so yeah, let's open it up and see what's inside. I save all of my original packaging, so I'm very careful, try to be very careful when I open things up. So, that's why I don't just rip into the boxes, because I store everything in its original packaging in the boxes. It just makes it easier for me to store. 
Um, so Dreamer Designs likes to put theirs in a a dust bag, but it's like a, it's it's a reusable dust bag. It's kind of a, a cloth material. It's a cloth material, but I mean it's not like super sturdy. Um, so don't like store your knitting needles or anything in it because it's gonna poke right through. It's 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 not super sturdy. It's just designed to put your painting in and move it around place to place. Um, but it's cool that it's it's a reusable bag. Like that's really cool. I appreciate that about them. Less plastic, right? This is a plastic heavy hobby as it is, so it's nice that there's less plastic by having a cloth stuff bag. Um, so I'm gonna set that off to the side to save that. Um, okay, so this little baggie right here is gonna be our toolkit, so we're gonna take that out first. And then our drills and stuff are inside the canvas itself. So we'll get those in just a minute, but we're gonna start with toolkit. That little toolkit. Okay, so this is really weird, but I'm obsessed with these bags. Like, I, I, I want sheets made out of this. This is just, it's like a butter suede material that is just so freaking soft. It's softer than Minky, and Minky is super soft. Like, this is softer than Minky. I want sheets made out of this stuff. If anybody knows where Dreamer Design gets their supplied bags from, will they make sheets? Please let me know, because... I need those in my life. Anywho, um, open this up. And here is our toolkit. Okay, make sure there's nothing else in there. Okay. So I'm pretty sure this is a square kit. Let me see if it says on the box somewhere. E um Maybe, maybe that is the square. I'm not 100% sure. I think this is the square kit. We're gonna find out soon enough when we dig into these drills. But my first clue that it's probably a square is the fact that it comes with deadly tweezers. So square kits generally have those. Dreamer Designs have their little logo on it. These, the flat side of the tweezers is great for opening things. And these are, super sharp like super sharp which is really nice like but they are they are quite deadly so don't stab yourself with them um they do make excellent tweezers for picking out little tiny splinters though especially if you have little ones that don't hold still very well these suckers are good at picking those up um they're meant for drills they're meant for picking off a drill that was misplaced incorrectly or for placing your drills. I guess some people actually diamond paint with their tweezers, which I find admirable. <laughs> I definitely can't do that, but I find it admirable. So that's that's really cool that they do that. Okay, so then you get um, your wax. Uh, Dreamer Designs loves purple. Everything they do is purple packaging, purple branding, so they love purple. Um, their wax pads are round purple and like twice the 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 thickness of the little pink squares that you get in like your budget kits um they do have the plastic coating on them so be sure to peel that off before you try to load your pen or your pen's not gonna load and you get two of those so you've got two wax spots um they're reusable bags they give you Um, these are a little on the thin side, so I would be cautious with these. They're thicker than some that I've run into off of the lovely Timu site um, that we all love so much. Um, but they're still they're still pretty thin. They're thicker than those, but they're still pretty thin. So be cautious with those. Um, they're good bags. But just be cautious. Um, they give you two pens in their toolkits. Uh, your regular single placer. And then this is an AB placer. Um, this is supposed to help place your ABs 
better with less sticking issues or chipping issues than your normal pen. So that's what that is, if anybody is wondering. And from what I understand, you can even just dip the end of this into water and it's supposed to pick them up. I haven't personally tried that yet. I just put wax in mine. So treat it like a normal pen. Um, then you've got a squishy for each pen. So two purple squishies. And you've got some multi-placers in here. Um, this is a... Okay, so they don't tag their multi-placers with the numbers. But I'm pretty sure, judging by that size, that that's a three-placer tip. Um, and I would judge that to be a six-placer. Six or seven, probably. Uh, anyway, so you've got some multi-placing tips for your pen. And you've also got a straightener. Like a little straightener so you can use this to kind of butt your drills up together um, so that's kind of nice this is a divider in your that goes in your tray and it does have this plastic on it and I don't know if I'm supposed to take this plastic off but I do I also don't know if this is meant to be a magnifying at all or if I'm just crazy. So if anybody knows the answer to that, please let me know. I'm not really sure. But to me, it kind of makes the drills like seem like a little more magnified by peeling the plastic off of this. And I don't know if that's the intention of this or if it's intended that I'm supposed to leave the plastic on and not peel it off like this. I don't know. I don't know. But I peel the plastic off. And this is a divider that can go right in your tray so that you can have two colors going at the same time. But see, it kind of looks to me like it's slightly enlarging, but maybe it's just my terrible bad eyesight. I don't know. Anyway, a beautiful purple tray with beautiful ridges in it. It's nice and wide, nice and deep, um, so your drills don't go flying out. This little piece right here um, pops down, so you can pour them back into your container when you are done with whatever color you're working on. So that's quite nice. A nice, lovely tray. Um, so that's our toolkit. Uh, that's a pretty standard toolkit in all of theirs. Um, they don't give you a cup reminder. Hmm. Alrighty then. That's alright. Um, okay, so we are gonna open this up and get into our drill. So all of these come in like this beautiful little present that you can just kind of unwrap like you're unwrapping fancy chocolates. Their canvas is made with a soft lint backing, which is like, uh, it, it is very soft. It's very soft. Um, it's thick, soft material. Um, it's it's not scratchy like the polyester side. Even 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 on the front side, it's, it's not real scratchy like the polyester canvas is. Um, it's a very nice canvas. It's surged all the way around. And again, if you have any issues, they do have the lifetime warranty. And I'm gonna try to get the drills out of this without getting into the canvas too much yet but I want like the sticker sheets and stuff too so I can show those to you so give me just a second while I try and collect everything out of there okay and then we're just gonna put that face down over there because we're gonna look at that together um okay God, that canvas is huge. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so their um, drills are stored. Um, they, they put their drills in two packages. Um, this is two of one and two of two. Um, for some odd reason, my brain thinks that should be flipped. Like one of two and two of two, you know, instead of two of one. 
and it just like for some reason gives me like the weirdest like hiccup in my brain like that distracts me every time I don't know why um anyway so coral reef island two of two coral reef island two of one so if you store your drill separately from your canvas they're going to be easy for you to find because they are labeled um which is nice inside you also have your instructions paint with passion dreamer designs the how-to the tips and tricks thank you for your purchase um Instructions and QR code for 15% off your next purchase. Um, their socials on the back. So, yeah, excellent. And if you're not a part of their Facebook group, um, it's kind of fun. It's a fun little group. And right now they have a drill along going in their Facebook group where you can win prizes for doing the specific kits. Um, okay, so this is their inventory sheet um it's got other stickers on here like these are just fun little stickers on there um their logo sticker but this is a a uh a uh oh god words um a uh, a uh, 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 log book log book sheet sorry um ADHD, I get a little distracted sometimes. Okay, so this is a logbook sticker where it's got the um, information of the painting that you can put into your logbook so you have a reference of it. Uh, it's got the name of it, which is the Coral Reef, Reef Island. Uh, Will Cormier is the artist. Um, the diamond shape is square. Uh, the size, start date, end date. So you can fill those out when you start it and end it. Um, and Dreamer Designs, all of their stuff is legally licensed. So if that matters to you, um, this is a safe company to purchase from. But that's the thumbnail, which is just gorgeous. I'm in love with this picture. Um, I'm not in love with the size, uh, but I will be. Because I do love my massive canvases, so it's it's just a little daunting because it really is like the biggest one that I have. Um, so in here there are 67 colors. Okay, so Dreamer Designs uses the DMC code for all of their diamonds just like a lot of companies do so they're pretty standard colors all the way across the board uh dmc codes are there and then their ab's they list with the ab in front of it so you know that 62 to 67 is all ab's because it's got the ab initials in front of it um so we've got five ab's in this that's fine Look at all of these blues and greens like oh my goodness how pretty is that this is gonna be so much fun i do love a good ocean scene um so i like to keep these bags too because these bags make excellent little trash cans that you can use when you're cleaning up um so i would cut this dump it and then just dump all of the plastic into this and then it's all contained so that when I'm all done putting up, I can just fold it over, seal it up, take it over to the bin, and I don't have a bunch of plastic that fits everywhere, theoretically. Um, so we're not going to go through all of these drills, but we are going to just... Let's take a close-up. So their square drills are very clean, um, very uniform. In their new version kits you do have a few that have an issue like that one's got a little pock mark on it but that's not gonna unless that's on the front side of the drill like it goes all the way through that's not gonna matter too much um just like with every company there's always going to be a little bit of trash in there but for the most part like dreamer designs has really clean drills um i don't really get a whole lot of trash from them I don't get a lot of static from them, at least in their new version kits. I did have a kit that I worked on that was an old version kit um, from several years ago, like three years ago, four years ago, that had some issues. Um, but that was before they fixed their printing, that was before they fixed their drill company and distribution. Um, so it's quite old and that experience is no longer the norm. Like they are a 
truly like wonderful, good quality, high quality company. Um, and they, they really do try to take care of their customers. Um, so I ordered this kit at midnight, the day of my birthday. Um, and it was delivered to me the next day at like five o'clock in the afternoon. So they do, they do take care of their customers. They do try to have good shipping. I guess there's some people that have been experiencing a delay in shipping, but I, I think that depends on your location and whether or not you're in the U.S. or where you're at in the U.S. specifically. Um, Dreamer Designs does try to make sure that they get everything out in a decent time and you can't really blame them if the shipping takes forever considering like everybody's shipping it's taking forever right like there was a big strike thing that happened and yada yada so yeah not their fault if it's a little bit delayed so we are going to pull into the middle right here because i'm already seeing the ABs that i want to look at okay so here we go Here's one of our ABs. Now, AB stands for an Aurora Borealis drill, which just means a special coating on the top of the drills that give it just a little bit more sparkle. Not that it really needs it, like to be honest. Like those are super sparkly. The way they catch the light is just phenomenal. But these have that extra little iridescent coating that just makes it sparkle that much more. And it's designed to be used as like highlights, like places that you want your eye drawn towards. Oh, there's a lot of these purple ones. Look at that. Holy cow, two bags of that purple AB. That's going to be fun. Um, places that you want the eye drawn that act as like a highlight in the photo is what the ABs are designed to do and they are just I mean superb all of dreamer design oh a lot of the white ABs too that's kind of fun okay so we're gonna have a lot of white and a lot of purple in this picture that's really fun um some more normal drills okay so beautiful colors love these look at that all those ocean colors oh my goodness I'm so excited um so I lost my train of thought there for a second. Uh, yeah. You'll have to forgive me. I'm a little bit on the tired side at the moment. Um, excellent quality, though. I'm, I'm an affiliate with them because I like them. I'm not an affiliate with them because I asked or because they asked me to because who gives a crap about me, right? Like, I'm a nobody. Um, <laughs> really. Uh, but I asked to be an affiliate for them. And that's only because I actually do like them a lot. They care about their customers and they have excellent quality. So moving all of those to the side so that we can take a look at this. And there is no way in hell I am going to get this whole thing in frame at all. So you'll have to bear with me here. Uh, we're going to roll it backwards just to kind of help it lay a little bit flatter. Um, this is a self-flattening canvas, so any of these wrinkles, like, down here on this end, these wrinkles, those will go away with, with it being set out flat. Those will go away with time because um, those are just from shipping. It's, it's not damage to the canvas, it's, it's just shipping. Um, if there is ever dam damage to a canvas that you receive, um, you just call them, let them know, contact them through their uh, O insurance, and they're they're just fantastic about that. Um, they do work with poor glue canvases, so it is safe to roll them backwards. And if you have to move your canvases and roll them up to move them, it's better to roll them with the drills facing to the outside. So the picture on the outside versus that on the outside. So you're not putting uh, stress and tension on the drills and then you're less likely to have popping drills. Uh, so just a little inside tip there. Okay, so we're gonna peel back the cover a little bit just to kind of help this canvas lay a little bit flatter. And one thing that um, Dreamer Design has is they have a super thick cover sheet. 
um, which actually makes for a quieter cover sheet. Like it doesn't have that, the, the crinkling from it is not as obnoxious as the super thin cellophane sheets. So that's kind of nice. And I'm just, I'm down here on the other end doing the same thing. Um, this canvas is huge. There is no way I'm going to be able to get this all in frame. I'm going to try though. So just bear with me. We're going to try to get you a good view of this. Um, but first we're going to do the glue test. Okay, so poured glue canvases. Dreamer Design uses poured glue canvases. Um, and it's a very thick, uh, a sticky glue. So there you go. Peel your cover back and just kind of touch it. And it takes a bit for it to fall off. So very sticky glue. Um which means that the longer your drill set on that glue, the harder it's going to be to remove them. So if you do happen to, I think that was crumbs off of my table. Oh my goodness. Um, if you do happen to make a mistake and need to move a drill, it's better to do it sooner rather than letting it sit. Um, Cause the longer it sits, the stronger that glue is going to bind to that drill. So I am going to, move you to try to get as much of this in frame as possible so forgive me if you get seasick because we are going to try to give you a better view of this that is huge that is huge so my dining room table seats eight people I mean, look at how much of that dining room table that painting takes up. This is a huge painting. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited about this, though. Like, it's it's gorgeous. You've got the sunken ship, the treasure, the dolphins, the fish, the shark in the background. I mean, the island, the birds. It's gorgeous. There's a little bit of everything in here. So let's set you back down. So sorry for making you motion sick. Um, we'll set you back down, hopefully. So sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get it stable to where it's not going to fall over. Good gravy. So sorry about that. Okay, so let's take a, a, a little bit of a closer peek as much as we can anyway. So... Um, this canvas has a lot of detail going on, which is going to show up nicely with the square drills. Um, square drills, um, tend to bring out that crisp lines on your details. It tends to offer for more details to be, to show through. Um, brown does a good job if it's big enough. Uh, square does an even better job. So there's a difference between round and square if you're interested. Uh, there is a lot of confetti in this, but there is some good solid chunks of color blocking. So right in here where you see this line, that would be considered color blocking. Like that's a, a, a small area with one color. Um, that's color blocking. But then you come up here and you've got a small area with all of these different color changes. So that would be considered confetti. So this has a, a, a pretty good mix of both. I'm seeing a lot of color blocking with these dark colors here, um, but also a lot of confetti with some of these brighter colors, um, which I prefer confetti, so I'm totally fine with that. You've got your sea turtle there, some seaweed. You've got, I don't know if that's a whale or if that's a dolphin. It kind of looks like a dolphin jumping out of the water fish, the sunset, the island. Oh my goodness. Oh, just look at that ship. Look at those details in there. And the sunken treasure with the dolphins and the fish. I'm a dolphin fanatic, so 
that's my jam there. And then you've got more of the ship back there, all the coral, just all the undersea life. What a beautiful picture. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So that's a little bit of a tour there. Okay, so uh, Dreamer Designs, they, they usually put the thumbnail in the top left-hand corner. So there's your thumbnail with your title, your artist, uh, your design size. Um, they are all legally art licensed artists at Dreamer Design. So again, one of those safe companies, if that matters to you. Um, they have their socials down on the bottom, the lifetime warranty and how to contact them. Uh, you have legend on the left. You have your logo in the middle, which is their logo is paint with passion. Um, keep going, keep going, keep going. Some more logo over on the right, another legend on the right. So whichever end of the canvas you're working on, you do have a reference point and then their socials up at the top right hand corner. Um, this is a huge canvas. It's uh, definitely a long-term project for me. It is gorgeous and I love it. Um, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to this one. Uh, I have wanted this picture for a very long time and I am so grateful that they give out points on your birthday because that allowed me to get a painting that I normally wouldn't purchase because of the price tag. Um, cause it is, it is so large. Uh, that it's it's got definitely quite a higher price tag than I'm used to paying attached um, so it's nice to get those coupons and um, I was fortunate enough to have some gift cards and really lowered the price down so I'm very grateful for that um, but do be sure to sign up for their rewards program if you decide to check them out and also there is an affiliate link that will be posted in the description box of this video um, if you choose to use it, great. If not, great. Like, <laughs> to you. You do you, right? Like, um, no obligation there at all. I'm just letting you know it, it can save you 15% off. I might get a couple of cents. Um, not much. So this is a solid company. Um, as far as customer service and quality goes, very solid. Um, but just, I mean, just look at the size of that baby. Holy cow. Even, like trying to tip the camera back I can't quite get it all in frame it is just super large I have no idea where I'm going to display this it is going to be displayed though because I am not about to do that much work on one painting and have it hiding in a portfolio somewhere yeah I, I just have no idea where I'm gonna put it but it's gonna go somewhere <laughs> oh my goodness what did I get myself into I'm so excited about it though look at those blues oh my goodness I could just keep looking at this picture all night. It's so pretty. Uh, but I won't. So I will let you go. Uh, you got a little bit. Oh, you know, we didn't really talk too much about the symbol printing. Look at how clear that is. Like super crystal clear. And you'll notice all the way around the edge of the drill field is this little tiny border. That is there so that when you have it framed... You're not losing your drills. You're not losing that one row of drills. They they did that little bit of a border all the way around just to kind of help with framing. So that's a, that's a nice thing that they did for their people. Um, the printing is super clear on this though. I could not be happier with this. Um, it's just beautiful. I'm really looking forward to it. Anyway, I hope you all uh, stay safe. Uh, be kind, be cool, and peace out.